Hello, you're watching RT International. We're coming to you live from Moscow. It's now 11 p.m. in the Russian capital. I'm Paul Scott, and it's good to have you with us. And we do start with our breaking news this hour, and that's that Russia has vetoed the UN resolution on establishing a tribunal over the downing of flight MH17 in East Ukraine last July. Moscow was expected to make the move. Well, in the run-up to the vote, Russia made its position clear, saying this is a criminal case and therefore is out of the UN's jurisdiction. Moscow has also been insisting that other cases where a passenger plane was shot down were not solved by a tribunal, but rather by a criminal investigation. Well, let's cross now live to our New York correspondent, Marina Portnaya, who is following this story and uh, joins us live. Marina, good to see you there. So no real surprises then at the UN Security Council, but just elaborate, tell us uh, more about Russia's position. Well, uh, of course, Russia delivered on its promise and uh, used its veto power. But we should mention that of the uh, 11 of the 15 members of the Security Council voted in favor of the resolution. Angola, China, and uh, Venezuela abstained. Uh, now, the resolution drafted by Australia, Belgium, Malaysia, Netherlands, and Ukraine calls for judges and prosecutors to be appointed by UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon and stresses urgency. Russia insists that the creation of another international investigation into the downing of MH17 would be counterproductive because there is already a joint investigation team led by the Netherlands probing the cause and culprits behind the downing of the plane. Now, while the Security Council has established tribunals to investigate mass war crimes, it's never been, uh, it's never established tribunals for uh, civilian aircrafts which have been do uh, shot down in the past, including the downing of an Iranian flight in 1988, which uh, was allegedly done by a U.S. missile, or the 2001 downing of a Russian plane by a uh, Ukrainian military. Now, Moscow categorized the creation of a special tribunal for MH17 as a political move. We have repeatedly stated that we do not back the creation, the idea of the creation of a tribunal under Chapter 7 of the UN. There are no grounds for this, mindful of the fact that the Security Council in Resolution 2166 did not classify the Boeing tragedy as a threat to international peace and security. It is difficult to explain how the events which took place, which a year ago were not deemed to be a threat to international peace and security, now all of a sudden have become just that. Ideally placed. It's important to note that Russia did propose an alternative draft which called for greater transparency in the establishment of a special representative to inve uh, investigate the crash. That proposal was rejected by the Security Council and the U.S. and its Western allies called Russia's veto a desperate attempt to delay accountability. Australia described uh, the no vote as an affront to the families and 298 passengers and crew who died. But Ambassador Cherkin underscored to the Council that Russia fully supports an independent impartial investigation into the MH17 traffic. Tragedy, noting that following immediately following the downing of the plane, Russia supported a rapid access to the crash site, uh, publicly released its satellite images to support the investigation, and also uh, led the way to call for an immediate ceasefire in Ukraine. Ambassador Cherkin stressed that Russia uh, does very much want to participate uh, equally into the investigation uh, of the MH crash and hold those responsible accountable. But when you listen to it, so it's to, uh, Ambassador Cherkin's tone, it seems that Russia doesn't feel very confident that this new investigation will help things or that it will be completely impartial, that, Russian, that Russia will have a role in any way. And uh, at this point, Moscow doesn't feel very confident that establishing a second investigation with a criminal tribunal is going to uh, lead to uh, conclusions uh, any quicker. Hey, Marina, thank you very much for the update. New York correspondent Marina Portnaya reporting there.